Yo, what's up guys? This is Brandon with BD Fitness Training. In today's video, I'm gonna go uh, go over a gym tour pretty much. Uh, a lot of the, actually all the videos I've been doing have been in my um, personal training gym. Uh, maybe you guys have, maybe you guys wanna you know see what it looks like and that's what this video is for. Um, so basically what I'll do is I'll take you guys outside, I'll show you the outside of the building, and then I'll take you through um, what I have here, what equipment I have, um, and we'll take it from there. So we'll start from outside. <clears throat> okay, looking at the building, got the sign, BD Fitness Training, front door, got a little decal with some information on it, and then I'm also looking to get a, more decals on my windows, but that's in due time, uh, so we'll take a step inside. So this is BD Fitness Training Gym. Uh, we'll start from this side and we'll kind of make our way around uh, the entire gym But uh, yeah, this these are my uh, piece of equipment first one we have here is a preacher curl bench uh, This is a Cybex uh, really nice. I like the angle on it. Uh, of course, this is meant for bicep curls um, The next thing we have here I'll try and make this video not too too long So I kind of run through them what muscle groups they hit and so on uh, lat pull down uh, This is my only home use lat pull down um, eventually down the line uh, maybe in a few months or so, I'm looking to get like um, a Life Fitness, um, you know, pin stack pull down just because I'm looking to have this gym um, be all commercial grade and really good quality equipment. And this is the only piece um, that isn't. So, but you know, in the meantime, though, it does do its job. I don't have people pulling too much weight in here. So um, that's that for now. <clears throat> and then our next piece we have uh, is a hammer strength chest press, which is right here in the red. Uh, awesome unit. I love using it. Very smooth, very nice. Anything hammer strength, excuse me, anything hammer strength is uh, my favorite. I love the uh, the lever system on it, it's great. Uh, next thing we have here is an Icarian uh, T-bar row. So a lying T-bar row machine there, great for isolating your upper back. Um, again, people with, you know, I work with people who have a lot of low back issues and things like that. Um, this just <clears throat> totally takes your low back out of it. Um, super good isolation for your upper back. So. Of course, we have the American flag here. You can't have, you can't, you know, not have one in a gym, right? Uh, we have the shoulder press hammer strength piece here, which is pretty much the same thing as the chest press, just obviously for shoulders. Um, over here, we have a high row um, for your back. Again, another great unit made by Hammer Strength. Um, over here, we have a collection of different types of bars. <clears throat> uh, this is uh, the hex bar, uh, which is great for deadlift shrugs. Um, farmers walks things like that uh, here. Uh, we have a few easy curl bars here um, This is I believe a Ohio power bar um, And then we have a rogue uh, Multi-grip bench bar, which is uh, awesome. That thing is so cool, but um Got a few mirrors here along the wall um, But going back to over here. We have this squat rack uh, the cage, I mean, and then we have, of course, another barbell on um, the deadlift platform. This is my baby. I love it. Um, got a few bumper plates. Um, gonna definitely up my collection actually this coming weekend. Those are tens because <clears throat> with clients, you know, who are just getting into things, it's just a great startup um, weight. Because obviously, with the with the smaller tens, you have to go like super super far down to the ground and hit the floor so at least with these it acts as like you know 45 and you could do like the proper range of motion right uh going back over here uh, of course you got mirrors <clears throat> we got the dumbbell rack so this is like the free weight area i kind of back up here so you can see it uh then over here is a york adjustable bench uh super nice bench actually probably my favorite bench because uh again the the padding is very wide on this for you know bigger people um, it keeps you really secure in that bench and you don't waddle around uh, you just you know, pull it up and it just stays in place. It's really nice. Uh, of course, you got a weight tree for my plates. And then over here, uh, this sucker right here is a Icarian uh, military press rack, so shoulder press. Uh, definitely my, the best one I've ever used just because it's, um, as you can see, the angle is vertical. It doesn't do... It doesn't do that weird thing where you have to reach super, super far back and feel like you're gonna break your dang shoulder. It's just basically straight over you, boom, and you're good to go. So awesome, awesome unit. <clears throat> Excuse my throat's so dry. Uh, and then over here, we have, uh, this is a very old school bench press, but once again, 
love it, love it, love it because uh, the bench is wide, just a nice uh, Elite FTS bench press with pegs so I could do band work with clients and things like that. So really, really cool. I'd love to get one of them. Uh, making our way over here, <clears throat> we have the uh, Cybex dip and vertical leg raise. Super, super nice unit. As you can see, guys, I'm still kind of working on the gym. This spot actually used to be my office, but I decided to just move it over there because I wasn't getting, um, I wasn't really utilizing this space as much as I could. And just taking out the office space made the gym just that much more uh, roomier. So I'd rather use, you know, use it for gym space and office space. But over here, we got the uh, Powertech Leverage Squat Machine. Uh, super good for a game with clients who have, you know, low back pain or, um, or like knee pain because it kind of it puts you in like a perfect position with this angle platform uh, so very nice over here we have a tire uh, for obviously sledgehammers which I have right here and then a uh, platform for you know step ups and you know plyometric <clears throat> exercises and then having you know a little water fountain garbage can we got some mats um, this is a life fitness uh, cable uh, functional trainer which is great uh, got some bands, Swiss balls. Over here is a, another life fitness unit, but just a single stack uh, cable machine, which is nice, super smooth, very nice. <clears throat> and then over here we have uh, battle ropes. Let's see if I can get the brightness up here. And then um, medicine balls, a whole rack of them. Don't know if you guys can see. There we go, right there. And then that's taking us back to the front. So here's another, just look at it. Kind of hard to catch it all in with this camera, but this is what it's looking like. Here, and then you go around, bam. So, uh, 1,200 square foot gym, it's small, but uh, super good. I train here with my other trainer. You know, he takes on clients, I have my clients, and we really stay out of each other's way uh, for the most part, so it's good enough space for two trainers for sure. I'll take you over here and I'll actually show you my uh, desk space there's a bathroom here so <clears throat> this is my little sound system kicks pretty hard actually um, pretty nice a little cubby spot for you know clients purses bags wallets things like that uh, filing cabinet water oh jeez. and then on uh, my desk right here uh, shout out to Amanda Bucci I was watching one of her videos um, and then I use the uh, square unit for my POS system, which I love. It's very easy to use um, Definitely recommend it for small business um, So we got the coat rack Got the bathroom here uh, Nothing special just you know Basic bathroom That um My office space and uh, that's all the debris from I still gotta get a dumpster, but yeah guys um, this is my gym uh, BD Fitness Training Gym located <clears throat> uh, 402 Route 57 in Lopacon, New Jersey. Uh, absolutely love this place. Uh, you know, obviously I, I've wanted to open up a gym for since I was in high school. I'm 22 now. Um, this is a super start for me. Uh, my first thing I was going to open up, like I wanted to open up uh, like an actual gym. But then like down the road, I was like, you know, what? I'm already, I'm working as a personal trainer at, at a gym now or a commercial gym back in the day. Um... And I kind of just wanted to open up my own personal training. I guess you can call it a studio. I don't like calling it a studio because I think it's kind of kind of sounds soft, honestly, uh, <laughs> which is stupid. But this is my personal training private gym. Um, you know, I, I have a lot of floor space here, and which was my goal too. I could have put some more machines in here, but I have a, a ton of floor space here, guys, just because I do a lot of functional work uh, with you know slam balls, ladders. Um, space is good. I don't want to feel cramped in here or crammed. So yeah, guys, uh, that's my gym. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Uh, again, guys, I always say this, but if you have any questions or you know any concerns and maybe want to learn more about you know an exercise, nutrition, anything like that, put it in the comments below, guys. I'd be happy to make a video. Uh, I think these things are so fun. Um, until next time, guys. Catch you next in that next video. Holy moly! And peace out.